1982 is when I started my company. And there was, at that time, a downturn in the economy. And I had just a little bit of money, and I knew I needed to move quickly because then, not much different than today, most companies, 60 to 70 percent, don't survive the first 12 months in business because they invariably underestimate the time it takes, um, the resources that it takes to survive um, that, and, and the cost that it takes to survive that amount of expense and the time it takes to do it. So I knew I, knew I needed to move quickly, and so I named, the, and I had to go to Italy to, to manufacture product because I knew I had a far better chance of getting credit from Italian shoe factories that needed business than from American banks that didn't. So I, I ran to Italy. I named the company um, after myself because I needed to have a name, and I knew you can usually get your own name registered more quickly, and I couldn't take the chance that I'd go down all this effort and that I wouldn't clear all the trademark regulatory um, requirements. So I named, them, named, named the company Kenneth Gold um, Incorporated, start, and made business cards, made stationery, went to Italy, connected with certain factories, made the product, came back, had to sell it, and I knew, and at the time, there were two places, two ways that people um, did that. They either took a room at the Hilton Hotel, which was what most did, um, but that was very expensive, and one would be amongst 1,100 other companies at the time, and invariably buyers would walk 30 floors, and there was 30 some odd companies per floor, and they would pretty much see similar product in every room, very hard to distinguish oneself and, and not at a small cost. And the other alternative is to take a big fancy showroom within a two block radius of the Hilton Hotel, which I clearly neither had the money or the, um, the time to make that happen. So on a whim, I called, talking to a friend of mine and I, who was in the trucking business, and I said, if I could figure out how to park one of your 40 foot trailers on the corner of 6th Avenue, 56th Street, <laughs> during market week next week, would you lend it to me? And he said, sure, jerk. This is New York. You can't park a bicycle for 15 minutes, let alone a truck on the corner of 6th Avenue and 56th Street. Um, but if you could figure it out, I'll not only lend it to you, I'll help you decorate it. So I called the mayor's office, it was Mayor Koch at the time, and I said, excuse me, excuse me, Mr. Mayor, how does one get permission to park a 40-foot trailer on the corner of 6th Avenue and 56th Street? On December 2nd, the answer is some they don't. This is New York. We give permission only in the two circumstances. A is if you are a utility company servicing our streets, AT&T or Con Ed, or if you're a production company, because we were going through an I Love New York campaign in the early 80s. And thank you, Mr. Mayor. Oh, the phone actually wasn't the mayor. But. And that afternoon, I went to a stationery store and changed a letterhead from Kenneth Cole, Inc. to Kenneth Cole Productions, Inc. <laughs> <laughs> and the following morning, um, I filed for a permit to shoot a full-length motion picture called The Birth of a Shoe Company. <laughs> Models became act aspire the, our aspiring models became the actresses they aspired to be. We hired a director. Sometimes it was filming his camera, sometimes it wasn't. And we put up stanchions, and we had two New York City policemen, compliments of Mayor Koch. And we sold 40,000 pairs of shoes in two and a half days. Um, we made everybody wait, by the way, that came, because that was in the spirit of, of building demand. And, um, and um, the, company, um, the company to this day is still called Kenneth Cole Productions, Inc. And I hadn't told that story in a little while, but we continue to remind ourselves that invariably the best solutions are usually the, are not the most expensive, but usually the most creative. And, um, and the company seems to have been performing various productions since. Um, the company started in a, in a recession, and we were clearly a refreshing and creative alternative at the time to others, and the results spoke for themselves. More doors opened, more feet got in those doors than we had shoes to put on them. <laughs>